Mm. Is this what I really want? To just sit in front of a camera and just talk to myself? What should you tell when you are buying you? Be more careful though, you can buy dinner. I know anybody pour my drink, I know anybody buy my dinner. Welcome on KK Squad, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So I decided to hop on here real quick. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be giving you tips and advice on how I started my YouTube channel. You guys can use these tips as well because the main reason why I'm making this video is I get a lot of questions. When I say a lot, I mean a lot of questions on my Instagram, on you know different social media platforms and I want to help so I just decided to come in here and make a video so I can help anyone who has questions or wants to start a YouTube channel. This is gonna be the video for that. A lot of people think that you have to have money to start a YouTube channel. No, you don't have to have money to start a YouTube channel and you don't have to spend a lot to start a YouTube channel. If you decide, you know, you wanna buy something, you don't have to spend a lot. So, how I started out my YouTube channel. So I started last year January so it's been a year and three months since I started my YouTube channel mind you when I started my YouTube channel I didn't know anyone to ask any questions I didn't know any youtubers I didn't know anyone that had a YouTube channel I had to figure out every single thing on my own I am NOT lying to you everything I know I had to figure it out on my own. I had to go, I had to research. In that time frame, YouTube and Google, they were my best friends. It wasn't a walk through the park, it was hard. So I just wanna come in here and help just to make it a little easier for someone because for me, it was not easy. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is find your niche, like figure out what you would want to do on YouTube what would you like to do what interests you and what do you want to put out there in the world to show people to teach people if you want to share your life story doing vlogs if you want to teach people how to do DIYs here like I do I do my hair sometimes that's where you're gonna start from figure out what you would want to come on here and do the next step I did before I started my YouTube channel before I started posting I had a notebook this notebook right here and I wrote at least 20 to 50 video ideas before I started uploading that's the best option because you could start your YouTube channel upload one video and then you go missing for two months or more because you don't know what else to post you have to be consistent you have to you know plan this out first write down all the video ideas that you have so that you don't have to go missing and then come back six months later. Nah, it doesn't work like that. If this is what you want, like, like I always express in my videos how I love doing this. I love making videos. So that's where I get that drive from to just want to figure out everything on my own. Even if I don't have anyone to ask, I still go and try to figure it out because this is what I want. Any means and ways I'm going to figure it out and get stuff done so that's the first tip before you start uploading videos just make sure you have at least 50 video ideas first the next thing is be confident I wish I knew this part before I started my YouTube channel because if you guys watch my first couple videos you realize how low my voice was like I wasn't outspoken like I was just this is a learning process so you will learn but just have confidence I mean you you can be a shy person and still make YouTube videos but just come on here with a little confidence I know it feels weird just sitting in front of a camera just talking to yourself that's how it feels at first you're like hmm Is this is this what I really want is this what I really want to just sit in front of a camera and just 
talk to myself but trust me after a couple of months you won't feel like that because my KK squad is right here with me. I know I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking with you guys, my supporters. So I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. You're here with me, right? So now this is where you start your YouTube channel. All right, so you get your name set up, pick a name and make sure the name that you choose is the name you want to stick with because once you reach at a certain level on this platform then you become your own brand so you want to make sure that the name that you choose is what you want and you're gonna stick with and you're gonna be okay with in the future you could even use your name like I have Curly Chrissy I don't think in the future I'm gonna regret having that name because my name is Chrissy and I do a lot of hair videos, natural hair videos, so Curly Chrissy. In the future, I'm not going to regret that name, having using that name or so forth. Yeah, you have that name and upload a cute little picture of yourself or whatever you decide to do here on YouTube. A lot of people think that you have to have a camera to start YouTube. No. Your phone that you have, you can use. That's what I started up with. I started out with my iPhone 8 Plus for like six months. So whatever phone you have, use it. The reason why I got a camera was because I was having like space problem. If I wasn't having space problems on my phone, I would still be using my phone right now because my phone quality is good. It's fine. Nothing is wrong with it. That's why I invest in a camera because I was having space problems on my phone start out with your phone that's what I did I know you're gonna say all right use my phone but what am I gonna put my phone on to record listen my first couple of videos I did not have a tripod I stack um, shoes boxes stack them and then I lean my phone on the boxes and record I think it was like a couple months after that's when I went ahead to Target I think it was Target and I got like a tripod for like five dollars that's a good price that's cheap that's 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 on a broke budget right five dollars for a tripod if you can't afford that tripod it's okay put your phone on some boxes some shoes box and record no one is gonna see that you know so if you want to get you can get tripod from like Target, Walmart, Best Buy for a good price, for a cheap price. So you guys are probably saying, all right, I could use my phone, I could use some shoes box to put my phone on, but where am I gonna get that good lighting? Yeah, that good lighting that you see in the back because look, once I turn this off, cause it's nighttime right now, see, it's dark. But then I turn my ring light on and it's popping but I did not start it out with a ring light I started out with sunlight when I first started my YouTube channel I used to only record at daytime when the Sun is out when I look outside and I see that all right it's a sunny day it's a perfect day to make a video so what I do is I go ne you can go next to your window if that's where the Sun is coming from but I like the the back part of where I live it's open it's glass because it's a slide door it's really rare that I record at night time in those times if I do record at night I would record in my bathroom in my bathroom I have like eight seven eight bulbs light bulbs so it's like really bright in my bathroom but I don't always feel comfortable just being in a bathroom all the time recording so I would mostly do it at daytime the sunlight the sunlight is perfect that's how I started out but then I got a ring light I got it from Amazon I have a unboxing video on my channel I could leave the link down below for that video if you guys want to see the ring light that I use those tips so far that I gave to you you don't even have to spend any money but if you decide to there are cheap ring lights like tiny ring lights or even the i saw someone with that 
case that you could put on your phone that has the light around it what is it called i don't even know what it's called but like a phone case with the lights around it that would be nice that's probably cheap cheaper than a ring light so i get this question a lot for editing app i started out using imovie because i was using my iphone so i downloaded imovie which is free so easy to use like so simple so easy so now i decided to use this app called kine master i call it kind master because it's just easier to, I don't know it's free but if you want to get the watermark off your video you have to pay is it six dollars a month yeah and thirty something dollars a year so that's what I use but iMovie is perfect if you don't have an iPhone you can always google what app to use on Android whatever phone you have there's editing app for every phone for free so you you can find one all right to make my thumbnails the picture that's before the video that you know grabs people attention i use pixart the app called pixart that's what i use to make my thumbnail it's free but certain features on that app you have to pay for but the features that i use is free so yeah, I just use the free features on that app. Free iMovie, free PixArt. You don't have to spend any money there. Next thing is, when you start uploading your videos, be consistent. That's how you're gonna keep your subscribers, your supporters, and that's how you're gonna gain more supporters, more subscribers. It's a must. You can't just post a video and then leave for three months, three to six months, and then come back be like hey i'm back no i can't stress this enough how consistent you have to be that's very important you're you could be uploading and you don't see your subscribers moving and then you're getting discouraged because your channel is not moving as fast as how you would want it to move if this is what you really want and really love to do don't give up not because it's not working out for you right away just keep uploading the result you're looking for will come through you just have to keep going keep pushing don't get discouraged even if you get like a bad comment or something just ignore it you're gonna have people like that you're gonna have people trying to bring you to their level trying to make you feel you know like you're not doing trust me somebody out there see you and see the good in you someone sent me this picture today i was sleeping and i woke up to them like this is so sweet of her she sent me a, a picture that says promote yourself even if your content has 100 views 16 likes and one comment somebody saw you and then her comment in in that picture says i saw this and you came to mind keep going i support you and i really love this big up yourself i love that i really like that big up yourself girl so and it's true like just keep going don't stop don't stop get it get it don't stop get it get it and then another thing now is the perfect time to start your youtube channel right here right now because a lot of people are stuck at home this is like the best time to start your YouTube channel. This is like the best time to get people to see your YouTube channel, to watch your YouTube channel because they're at home. So go ahead and do I mean, I'm not far up into this, but I still wanted to come in here and just give my tips on how I started my YouTube channel. If it can help someone, why not? I don't like to hold information to myself. I love to help. All right, so I'm not going to make it seem like, all right, doing all of this editing and making a YouTube channel is like a walk in the park. No, it's not. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a little challenging, but once you get used to it, it's like a breeze. Because when I'm editing, it takes me three days or more to finish editing. Yes. So you have to learn to edit. That's very important. If you don't know how to edit, there's a lot of videos here on YouTube that teach you how to edit videos. 
or in the future i'll show you how i edit my videos it's fun to do to record and make a you know it's not going to be a walk in the park for you for the first time or for the first couple of months it's gonna be a little challenge until you learn it's all a learning process and you'll get there my next advice to you is promote your videos keep promoting them on all social media platforms that you have if you have instagram facebook snap snapchat whatsapp keep posting your videos that's what i do i always post my videos on facebook snapchat instagram because somebody out there is gonna see it so just keep promoting it keep uploading keep putting it out there you can join groups on social media and just keep promoting your videos you are going to get the result that you are working towards the biggest thing i can tell you is have patience i people always tell me this and i know i see this for myself i have a lot of patience a lot while you're being consistent have patience it will all work out instead of giving up i just research what i don't know i research youtube is my favorite app i'm not just saying that because i'm putting this video out there you know that screen time on youtube i love youtube i learn a lot from watching videos on youtube that's how i can help myself with all of this when you learn it's good to share with others i hope this was helpful if you have any more questions comment down below i'm gonna have a part two but with the part two i'm gonna let you guys know how i got subscribers how i you know build my watch time so stay tuned for that and thank you guys so much for watching please remember to hit that bell so you can be notified when i post videos and please hit that thumbs up make it blue subscribe stay tuned for my next upload bye